G'day everyone, I'm Big Red 7 and this is a 7 foot gamer. Today on Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back we'll be playing level 15 Unbearable. Probably my favourite of all the bear puns in this level. And uh, you're probably thinking it's another bear level and you kind of sort of right. Except that it's one of those boulder chasing levels as well. Except they're not boulders, they are polar bears. How cute is that? They look ferocious. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna do the running thing again. All right, dodge all the obstacles. You know, not really new. These fences, just spin into them. No point jumping over them because it takes too long. And just kill these lizards. Kind of a cool thing though, if I can show it sometime soon, the uh, lizards actually get squished by the polar bear and that's pretty funny. And then, unfortunately, they hit the wall and then they die. No! No! Dead polar bear. I'm sorry. For all those polar bear lovers out there, it's a dead polar bear. Okay, let's continue on. Now, I remember doing this thing when I was younger. Um, spoilers ahead, there's four polar bears. And uh, used to be... That the first one was like the mummy polar bear. And then this one was the daddy polar bear. And the little... And the third one was the younger polar bear. Young girl polar bear. And then... Uh, It'd be the younger brother is the fourth one. All right, he's gonna slide all the way to the end and then fall down the cliff and bang, there he goes. All right, so we got the checkpoint here, but little secret, there's still three planks left and we're gonna jump down the hole. I'm gonna save you, polar bear! But where is he? Oh well, so we're in a hidden part of the level, all right? Not many people know this, but this is where you get the boxes that you find missing at the end of the level otherwise. All right, lots of secrets in this level. I love this level. It is unbearable. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get these lovely lives for us. Let's skip back. Make sure you skid jump these because, uh, you know, the jumps are really awful in this game. But, oh well, here we go. Collect all the Wampas. Let no Wampa le be left behind. And uh, you keep seeing these bullets. And as you saw earlier, it's his poacher. You know, killing all the animals. We don't like poachers in this game. No animals like poachers in this game. Anyway, so there we go, get all the wampers. All right, time the bullets well, and here we have a little fusion of the bullets with the turtles. So you gotta sort of time it to spin the turtle away while jumping over the bullets. And as you know, with the turtles with the rotary sword, you can't jump and kill them, unlike these bouncy turtles. That's fine. All right, time it. There we go, time it. That was bad time. Oh. Ah, oh, shit. Awful time. And unfortunately, there's no checkpoint, so we're gonna have to go back to you. Alright, I'll bring us back to that spot. I'll see you soon. Okay, back guys. Let's just time it properly. Alright. There we go. And gone. And checkpoint. Thank goodness. My gosh. Oh. Alright, just get under this metal box. All right, so as you can see, there's a bit of an annoyance here. And I think, yes, there you go. These are two boxes that hide incredibly well. So as I just did, just jump on top of this box, skid jump, and grab those two life boxes, all right? They're pretty hidden, all right? That took me ages to find, but there you go. As for this bouncy box, obviously you have to, you know, remove it to, uh, what's the word? Uh, you know, path level. So when you do that, just uh, go up this way, make sure you get those two life boxes first because uh, you won't be able to get up there until afterwards. Alright, so you gotta be careful with these rats too. Are you kidding me? You gotta body slam them because uh, they have their material for some reason makes you bounce up in the air and puts you right in the bullet's track. Anyway, more timing. Let's try and do it well. Jump over the nitros. Don't have to duck like I am, but. This just makes it more fun. <laughs> All right. In fact, ducking here will actually end up killing you. You won't be able to dodge the bullets if you duck here. All right. There we go. All righty. Now, difficult jump, excuse me, difficult jump to do again. So skid jump and we should be good. Oh, now watch out, these are the rats. All right, don't think you're gonna make that jump. Oh, I forgot there are actually rats there, but don't think you're going to make that jump. Actually, wait for the rats to come out and get you. And then you've got this lovely mushroom to bounce on. 
Okay, doing well. I'm so glad they provide us with lots of Akalakus. In fact, if I didn't keep dying, we could have had invincibility and finish off the rest of the level. Alright, you can duck here for these ones. Does it make a difference? I don't know. Probably not. They look a bit higher. Just make sure we time everything right. This is awful. Oh, shit. We'll be back. Okay, we're back, guys. Um, the difficulty of getting back, my god, I've died so many times. But what I did discover is that uh, every time you do die, those two life boxes that I showed you earlier do come back. And they're life boxes every time. So, you know, every time you do die, you manage to get two lives back from it, which is pretty good. Alright, you can see what the life changes and how many times I've actually died. Okay, let's see if we can do it. Alrighty, so just time to jump. Very poorly. Alright, come on. There we go. Oh my god, that was ridiculous. Okay, so now we desperately need to find a checkpoint and don't die. Alrighty, so bonus round, that does well. Okay. So, quite a simple bonus round. Shame we don't <coughs> didn't get an extra gem, excuse me. <coughs> Shame we didn't get an extra gem for doing that bonus stage. I reckon there should have been one just rewarding you for finding it. But that's just me. Alright. So, got the explanation mark box, and then these boxes will appear. I think. Uh, none down here, was it? No, they won't. Alright. So, these boxes will appear. Actually, I think it might be the nitros. I'll just double check. Hold on one sec. Okay, no, no boxes back there. Alright. So, just jump over this. Try and get as many Wampers as you can. No Wampers left behind. Let's do it. And head back into the main level. Oh, what a nightmare. So I'm going to hit this up. And, uh, checkpoint. Thank goodness. I hope we got all the boxes. Now, let's go. Here's little sister Polar Bear. It's going to get us. Uh, so these, as you probably noticed, these chases are a bit longer than usual, but um, I don't think in this case there may be um, any hidden boxes that you can't get that the polar bear won't get for you, which is nice. Uh, so just keep running it through. Alright, make sure, that's a bit tough, so make sure you spin, but before you come through the whole fence, skid through it as well, otherwise you'll spin straight into the electrical wires. Okay, here we go, and look who it is, our friend Polar. And this this is why it's the little brother Polar Bear, because this thing is just fast, all right? Good thing we have Polar with us, or else we'd never be able to be able to route run it. Okay, so grab it, there we go. Get as close as we can. Get towards the end now. And there we go. Towards the end. And did Polar just get squished by that big Polar Bear? Polar, where are you? I'm gonna go look for Polar in a sec, guys. Just let me grab this gem. Oh, thank God we got this. Let me go look for Polar. Alright. I didn't hear any thug from that big Polar Bear either. I hope they didn't die down there. Alright, so we're gonna skid jump across and spin just for safety. And. Oh, Polar, you're okay. Come here, Polar. Come here. And whoosh. There we go. Another secret. Alright. So, um. This leads to level 26, Totally Bear, which uh, another fantastic uh, pun if I do say so myself. Alright, dense is well deserved, but I think because this is a, this is a separate level altogether, we're going to do this by itself. Alright, I think I've gone over the time limit of how long I can make this level with all those deaths. So, um, okay, so next time on... The Seven Foot Gamer will be doing level 26 Totally Bear. I'm Big Red Seven, and we'll see you next time.